Ali waged a decades-long battle against Parkinson's disease. His wife, Lonnie, right there by his side through all of it. And as we look back at his legacy today, we found this interview, the boxer, his wife, and our Diane Sawyer in their shared hometown back in 2007. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you. A couple of hometown kids, Louisville kids, went out to see the world. We did. The story is all here, including the beginning. It was a red bike he got for Christmas. Someone stole it and he went to tell the, the policeman there that someone had stolen his bike and he was going to beat them up. So smart, Joe Martin said, well, why don't you come learn to fight first? And then he got him into the boxing at the Columbia gym and the rest is history. In the museum, a photo of the day she met him. Is this the, the famous picture? That's the famous That's picture. What we talked about. As you see, I haven't changed much, Diane. <laughs> Then 22-year-old Cassius Clay teased his awestruck little neighbor. Did he remember saying to you, I'm going to marry you when you grow oh, up? Oh, yes, but you know what, Diane? I have found out that Mom had said that to a lot of little girls. <laughs> it wasn't just me. <laughs> he had just been diagnosed with Parkinson's when they met. And you never feel robbed? No, no. Our life is so full, so rich. I mean, we have nothing to be sorry for. There's such a conversation going on between the two of you all the time now. Well, yes, yeah, so we have Muhammad. I, I understand Muhammad's signals, and it's sort of a, some of it's a silent conversation. I, I can look at his face. I can tell what he wants or what he's thinking. Muhammad would say, do as much as you can, because that's the way you will be remembered. God gives us special gifts, and the more God gives you, the more he expects. And there will be much more on Muhammad Ali on a special 2020 tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern.